Viger fans sent the Wolfpack off to the Super 7 bright and early Wednesday morning. They're hoping the Wolves can bring back a blue map in a couple of days. It's been an impressive season for Viger. The Wolves are 13-1 on the year, with 11 of those wins coming by double digits. It's a testament to their defense, which only has four seniors. People don't realize we're real young on our defense, and uh, they just play over the top. Viger opened the season with six straight wins by double digits and three 40-point games before getting its first real test of the season against Faith Academy. After grinding out a two-point win against the Rams, Viger clinched the 4A Region 1 title the following week against Williamson. The Wolves would finish undefeated in region play before a regular season loss to then 5A state champion St. Paul's. Viger rebounded from their lone loss of the year and went on a tear in the postseason, winning each game by an average of 28 points. I tell our kid we plant a seed and we reap. You know, we reap what we sow, and uh, that's what we've been doing all year. After last week's win over Jackson, the Wolves are exactly where they knew they would be, on their way to the Super 7 for the first time since 2018. We set two goals at the beginning of the year, sent December 7, that was to beat our rival Blunt, and to win the championship on December 3rd. The Wolves can accomplish that second goal Friday against Anianta High School. It's been a lot of hard work all season, and they're hoping it ends with the fourth state championship in school history. Our guys understand we put in a lot of hours. We work hard for what we're trying to accomplish, and uh, Friday we'll be ready to play.